Hello. Good to work, everyone. Welcome, Zat Hashem. We're learning Sicha uh, Saran. And tonight is, as far as I can recall, is Sicha number 192. Let me just check. Yes, 192. Okay. So we're starting here with the Maisa Baal Shem HaKadosh. A couple of interesting Sichos of Baal Shem Tov by the Baal Shem. Baal Shem Tov said about the Ariya Kodesh that his machshava has reached ad ends of infinity. Still, even though his thought was so exalted, his greatest sagas were of Arizal, came through Simcha and the light of mitzvahs. And the second, <clears throat> we said, a person, <clears throat> apologize, always need to be in a state of Yeshiva Das. And he says, and not hurried. He says, Vavada Temehero, that Moshe Ben says to Am Israel. In other words, you have to lose the hurry. In other words, haste makes waste. So you have two sikhos, one of them dealing with <clears throat> the union of Simcha and what Simcha does. Rabbeinu speaks about it in quite a few places where he says that um, When a person is um, is not the simcha, he is unable to conduct his mind freely. He's constructed. He is not. He's not capable of agility of mind. He's not free. To, to conduct his mind according to his uh, to what he wishes you know when a person is in a bad mood you can't talk to him when a person is there's also I mean you can't talk to him he is already captured. He's already constricted. He's already held down. For this, we need to understand a little bit the notion of Shabbos. Shabbos is different from Yom Chol in that on Yom Chol Yishbuch created the world in six days <clears throat> and on Shabbos on Shabbos it says Shabbos 
Vayinofash. And he rested. Meaning that obviously HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't get tired. HaKadosh Baruch Hu did not need to rest from the hard work of creating the world. Creating the world for HaKadosh Baruch Hu is nothing. The uh, the 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 Indian is that when does a person get tired? People say, you know, when you work hard, you get tired. <clears throat> but that's not always true. In a phenomenon, you work for you work for a long time, you know, you can get tired. But um Many times, hard work is rejuvenating. You know, when a person is like, he's not working, he's sluggish. Uh, when he starts, you know, then he's rejuvenated. But nevertheless, the thing that actually tires a person and puts a person in in constricted consciousness is not so much work as in facing deficiencies, dealing with deficiencies, busy with the Malacha of Tikkun. The Malach of Tikkun always follows a stage of recognizing that which needs to be fixed. Where's the chisar? Where's the deficiency? Where is it lacking? Well, ah, okay, please. It's leaking from here. This side of the table is, you have to lift it up. Obviously, the same thing with a person's own personal avoider. Here I'm chased by horrendous thoughts. And here, you know, I go to shul and I look at people and I feel that I'm criticizing them in my mind. Uh, whatever it is that, uh, that goes over a person when he is either he's facing real things that he needs to fix or else he is looking at deficiencies that have nothing to do with him. Looking at looking at um, Hasranus. Looking at deficiencies with Tvachar Moshe. Looking at deficiencies at Hasranus is tiring. You feel responsible to fix your meters. You feel, you feel responsible to clean up the house. You feel responsible to wash the dishes. You feel responsible and so forth and so on. And you go and you do and you go and you then This is the thing that tires. The week, in fact, the creation of the world, the six days of creation, <clears throat> Every single day that the Kazbohu added on what was created before, if it's if it's the fish, if it's the birds, if it's the animals, if it's the light, if it's the, the moon and the sun and the moon and the whatever it is that the Kazbohu created, each day we got a sample of we got a sample of what was lacking. Not because Baruch Hu created it. The same thing kept on revealing itself until Shabbos. The thing is that we are actually locked into a reality that we will always be facing deficiencies always
That's what we're doing in this world. We have a perfect neshama that is that is 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 inserted into a lavush into a garment of 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 flesh, bones and flesh and sinews, and mentally a certain kind of intel intelligence, certain talents, uh, uh, certain parenthood, certain um, nurturing, naturing, whatever you want to call it. This isn't us. This is what we are aware of, but this is not us. We are the Neshama. And we have no Asog in the Neshama. The Neshama is infinite. <clears throat> it is part of a Kodesh Baruch Hu, And when we say that it's a part of a Kodesh Baruch Hu in the sense that it can be mislabish in the body. But in on itself, any part of infinity is infinite in itself. And so what we are facing in our everyday lives are the chesrenas. On Shabbos, HaKadosh Baruch has created a different a different metzias, a different uh, reality. HaKadosh Baruch created completeness, perfection. There's no more there's no more work to do. The concept of Shabbos is that everything is done. Now Shabbos in itself is a, a, a reality that inserts itself like every six days comes Shabbos. And it seems like, and it seems like, I mean, Shabbos has nothing to do with the six days. Yeah, you prepare for Shabbos, you have for Shabbos, whatever. But Shabbos is, is a total different reality. Shabbos is peace. Shabbos is shlemus. The thing is, what we need to understand, what Baal Shem Tov is saying about Arizal, that the highest asogas of Arizal came through Simcha, in the light of the mitzvahs. Because Simcha means that you are connecting to the Shabbos, the Shlemus, that exists within the Maisa Mitzvahs, within the work that you need to do during the week. Rabshom Shvadron, the famous Yushami Magid, Zechatzal Rachom, used to say, the marshal in Yerushalayim, there was a very famous person standing in the entry to Yerushalayim, right under the the major uh, traffic light, and he was waving to the traffic with his hands. When the light turned green, he would go, and lo and behold, traffic just came through. When the light turned red, he would just lift his hand up, and lo and behold, all the cars stopped. And then he would go and he look at the side. The traffic comes from this side. Go ahead, because the light turned green. Go ahead, and they all went through. The light turns red. Stop, and they all stop. One day, he didn't show up. At the intersection, he didn't show up. He had Lola and he had a, a heart attack. And 
They took him to the hospital. And suddenly they see in the hospital that he is under immense amount of stress. So this is, you know, relax, what's the problem? So he's saying, you don't understand the intersection, the intersection. Without me, all the cars will be crashing. <laughs> and his audience would burst laughing. And he says, why are you laughing? We are that person. We are worried. We are worried because we figure that we are the ones who make the car stop. We're the ones that make the cars go. But it's not us. It's 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 the traffic light above us. It's Kodesh Baruch who is is leading the world. What we need to do, and Achinami, we need to do. But the worry is not incumbent on us. There's a famous uh, letter that one of the uh, visions of Hasidim wrote, one of the previous uh, visions of Rebbe's, writing, writing to him how much how worried he was about his parnasa and this and that and he doesn't have this, doesn't have that. So the Vishitsa Rebbe wrote him back a letter saying because she in other words hardly the Torah allows you to make ishtadlis. When you mean making shtadlis. The Shabbat gives everything. The Shabbat does everything. But the Torah says, yeah, do. You do malacha. You do malacha because the Torah wants to test you. The Shabbat wants to test you to see whether you think that you are directing the traffic or the Shabbat is directing traffic. And you do shtadlis because the Shabbat gives you for nothing. But you must do the shtadlis. Okay. Misha Rebbe told him, okay, so they, you are allowed to make a shtadlis. But he writes to him, but Dogo worry me to Who gave you a heter to worry? Okay, they gave you a shoes to make a shtadlis. But to worry? Who gave you a shoes to worry? When you don't worry, you need to do what you need to do. You have mitzvahs to do. You have to kill him to do. You have to work on your midas. You have to you have to learn ter- You have to do all of this. When you when do you get worried? You get worried when you think that you are lifting it all on your own. This is where the problem arises. This is when problems problems start. When you're convinced that you are the one who's directing the traffic. So you, I mean, you're pressured, but you're not. It's not a comment upon you. It's not a yes or no. It's not black and white. It's not, you know, switch on, switch off. It's a gradual situation that you need to connect with the Shabbos that exists within the Yom Cho. Inside the, the, the Yom Cho, yes, there are things to do. But if you are connected to the Bittochen and the Kodesh Baruch Hu, you don't worry. And when you don't worry, what you're doing is not as tiring. 
you deal with whatever you have to deal with. But ultimately, you're connecting to that Shabbos within you. So the first of all, the first step is to know that it is there. That's the first thing. The second thing is to work on it. That's the second sicha of the Baal Shem Tov. He said, lose the hurry. Hurry is, haste is the opposite of Yishev Adas. Yishev Adas is composure. Is presence of mind. And Rav Yitzhak Bender used to say, the only way that you can actually achieve this kind of equilibrium you should have asked, what am I supposed to do? <clears throat> what am I not supposed to do? All this can be achieved if a person takes a chunk. Whatever you can do, if you can do two minutes, five minutes, quarter of an hour, ideally you should do an hour every day or more if you can. <clears throat> Separate yourself from everything that has to do in this world. From all the shtadlers, from all the worries, from all the... And just go to Kodesh Baruch Hu and lay your life out the way they are. Bring up honestly to Kodesh Baruch Hu like you're talking to a real friend, really good friend. And say, so, you know, today I thought about this. I had this flush of thoughts that, you know, like washed me away. And I have I had this, or somebody spoke to me and I was hurt by that. And I have trouble um, calming down. And so forth and so on. All these all these, when you bring it up and you speak to Kaddish Baruch Hu, Kaddish Baruch Hu answers you back. No, you don't hear voices in, in your head. Sometimes, <clears throat> rarely, you can hear a voice in your heart. Voices in your head, you need to be taken to an institution. Because what who answers you is when you are getting out of that session with the Kabbalah, you have clarity, which you didn't have before. That clarity is called Yeshua Das. Haste means there's no time. There's no time. I got to do it. I got to. And it's true, there is no time. But within no time, there has to be time. Within, I can't waste a minute, there has to be time for me to relax and to contemplate and to figure things out. Weigh one thing against the other. What's the story with me? What's going on with me? And there's another union that, uh, which is embedded in the Sikha of the Baal Shem HaKadosh, that he said that you need a Yishev Adas, you need to, some relaxation in the midst of all the craziness. And that is during davening. They once told somebody told of Nelson that that they're davening quickly, so they won't have foreign thoughts in their mind during davening. They daven quickly, so they won't let foreign thoughts come in. Nelson said, 
It doesn't work like that. If you daven the messinus, if you daven leisurely, you know, you're taking your time <clears throat> between one machshav zara and the next. You may be able to daven with kavon a little bit, but if you daven quickly, he said you can daven the entire davening with one machshav zara. You won't be present at all. If, let's take it as a given that our davening will be fraught with foreign thoughts. Malafut. Some things you can, some things you can't. What can you do? But when you, you should, when you just Relaxing, no haste. You know the the people that don't work on davening, they have this kind of a, you know, folkloristic saying is that I'm running away from the Yetzirah. That's why I'm davening quick. <clears throat> that is not true. You're not. <laughs> you're not running away. You're not running away from the Yetzirah. It's a road doesn't run after you. He's waiting for you at the end. He's together with you. Yishuvadas. Take your time. Davin Yishmonesra. Do it slowly. And if you prepare yourself mentally before you daven to take your time, then you are able to do that and suddenly things open to you. When a person goes into davening without Yishvadas, without deciding, I'm going to daven now, I'm going to pray now. That's my job. That's 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 what I need to do. And you take yourself the time, I'm not saying Davin Shmonesa for an hour. If you can, Lama Law, but take an hour for the entire davening, from beginning to end, a whole hour. And before you start davening, already <clears throat> say in your mind, this is going to take at least an hour. I'm going to be here for at least an hour. I'm not going anywhere. Slowly. You start from the beginning. You say every single word of the of the davening. <clears throat> You'll have many machshavazoras inside. <laughs> But in between them, you'll be able, Bezat Hashem, capture a few words, Bechavona. And when you daven Bechavona, these few words count. You're actually taking them out from the Kalipot. These words you're able to, the has a in you, turns on the light. You are able to mean what you're saying. Yeshuvah Das. said, Vavada te mehero, lose the mehero, lose the quickness, lose the haste. Adkan, the Maese Bel Shem Tov, Sipuri Bel Shem Tov. Let's take a quick look at the Sikhs around for this week. Uh, here it is. I don't know why it keeps on doing this. But hold on, just one second. It keeps on jumping. Here we go. Reb Nelson says as follows. Once I spoke to Rabbeinu Zichon and Rocho, the Indian there from that, this particular Indian, that the people do not want to believe. 
שיהיו נמצאו הם עכשיו צדיקים גדולים במעלו, that now there are big צדיקים, really <coughs> immense צדיקים. The way that they used to exist in Darius Hashanim in the previous generations. So Abena says as follows, if you believe in Hashem is Baruch, you need to believe that there are tzaddikim also. Because the very same way that Kodesh Baruch Hu exists, there are also tzaddikim exist. Bevada in every single generation. Vehaven me'oid. And put this really, really well into your mind. This is a very important limud. When the tzaddikim are alive in this world, <clears throat> you take a look at them, all you see is the lavush, the body, the this, the heaven, nose like everybody else, have eyes like everybody else, whatever it is. We expect tzaddikim to have this amazing countenance, this light coming out of them, or whatever it is, that means absolutely nothing. That the arts of Deacon in this generation means that you need to get to the point where your amuna is such that it is not get influenced by um, the physical presence. The physical presence of this world fools us, fools us enough, as is, into forgetting HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But you can see the minute, you know, as long as El Chayit is in this world, Yehudi Kasher is in this world. So you look at them like this, you look at them like that, it is this, it is that. Once he passes away, boom, suddenly you discover how great he was. Because the body does not screen him off anymore. There's also nothing at stake anymore. He's gone. As long as he's before you, there's Nisyanus. Don't have this Amuna in him. Don't have the Amuna that everything that he does, there's secrets upon secrets, some of which he knows, some of them is even beyond him. The minute that he leaves this world, unless he's one of the Sadiki Yechidah Deris that are active even after they pass away, well, now it's no longer relevant. Well, once he passes away, it's no longer relevant. Okay, you can believe in him, no problem. The gates are open. You should know that Sadiqim exist in every generation. And Amun Sadiqim has to be worked on. In the very same way, that you have to turn your eyes away from this world in order to see HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You have to turn your eyes away from the physicality of the, the, the El Chayidin in the generation and realize that they are now as Sadiqim as they used to be when, I mean, as, they, as you will understand that they are, after they pass away. You know, we realize, we look back, period generation, you know, the the Chofetz Chaim, uh, and, and, and at the time of the Chofetz Chaim, you should know. I mean, at, at, towards the end of his life, I already know who he was, obviously. But when he was young, People used to make fun of him. 
he used to go to 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 shul to make his bedidus. And when he was young, and the boys in town used to throw stones, little pebbles, you know, to, to try to distract him. And the Rebbe Reb Zisha, Reb Zisha from Alnipoli, the Heiliger Rebbe, Rebbe Reb Zisha, all the Hasidians, all the Hasidim, you know, is a Kodesh, 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 Yomeloi. Obviously he was. But when he was young, they used to call him the Meshigan of Malamed. The crazy Malamed. He was doing all these faces. Ah, now. And his days, Rabbein was talking about his days. And Nelson told him the people don't believe that today, which means Rabbeinu's days, that's the days of Abnachon of Chernobyl, that's the days of Alevis of Bilditcher, that's the day of the Balatanya. Now they're not so deep in there they used to be before. And we are looking back at them and go like, wow, I can't believe this. Look who they had in their generation. And they didn't realize who who it was. The same thing applies for our generation. They are El Chayidim. They are El Chayidim. Yodim Ksherim Mamash. They are Tzadikim in this generation Mamash. They are great people. Anybody who has the schus of going to Yishalayim and taking a look at the Yakimir Shechter, It is a schus forever, just to see his face. And there are others. Everywhere. The minute Reb Gershon Edelstein passed away, all of a sudden, everybody realizes how great he was. Before, and he was under the shadow of, of, of Kanievsky, of, of, of Steinman. Suddenly, boom, where he was until now, 100 years old. Everything he became Kodesh after he passed away. The same way that we have to beg a Kodesh Baruch Hu to give us a moon to believe in him, we have to beg a Kodesh Baruch Hu to have a moon to believe in Tzadikim. Bechlal, in general. So we have a moon of Tzadikim. And specifically, will be able to have a Muna and the Tzaddikim that exist today. Come close to them. Learn from them. It is the Koyach of the Tzaddikim that everything is possible. Without the Koyach of the Tzaddikim, nothing is possible. The Tzaddikim exists today, the Tzaddikim existed in yesteryear. That's a shame. We are after Tisha B'Av, after Tubiav, we are getting close to the runway of Elo. A lot to talk about, obviously. That's a shame. We will continue. That's uh, a shame Monday night learning Sipur and Maisius, Maisius about Phila, uh, the Master of Prayer. Then it's Hashem, I don't know how many of you are into this. Tuesday, Tuesdays at four o'clock, we have a, a meeting, a Sichas Haverim in Hebrew. Whoever is interested, you can you know send me a message. I can send you a, a link. Wednesday night, there's Lakuta Maran. Thursday night is Lakuta Maran. It's just in the same Torah, but it's like. We are chewing it again and again. We are towards also towards the runway. I understand there'll be another towards minus for Elo. So I want to wish you all good work and what? What? Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Taki, get work. Silicon Okay, get work.